All right, this is pretty crude. This is my, um, uh, yeah, <laughs> my hydrogen fuel cell. You can see it's made out of uh, wall covers, stainless steel wall covers, using uh, nylon threaded bolts. I designed something a little different from what other people are doing. Uh, these holes I've drilled in here. That's so one plate won't short to the other plate. I guess you can see that. They're spaced about an eighth of an inch apart. The two stainless steel bolts are actually uh, the contacts where you put the power on. The yellow right now is on the positive plate, green on the negative plate. So what we're going to do is take it over here. I can see. I'm going to drop this down in this water. Get it to stand up. Uh oh, we lost our leads, we lost everything. That's okay. I'll put this lead down in here on the negative side. Okay, you can see some hydrogen bubbles in there where I've been experimenting before. This is a battery set up here, and then we got the meter right here. I don't know if you can see that. I'm probably all in the light. What we're going to do, we're going to attach this positive. To this battery lead here we got it going through a uh, amp meter here oh, and when I put this on here it'll make a circuit okay we're gonna turn the amp meter on and then I'm gonna apply power to it with these alligator clips back here. I'm running 24 volts. I got these two batteries series together. I'm gonna clip this on here. You can see the amp meter going up 1.4, 1.31, 1.2. It will drop down, it'll settle. And this is what I want you to see, if you can see it. That's hydrogen right there. Those are hydrogen bubbles, or not hydrogen, a uh, mixture of hydrogen and oxygen called hydroxy gas. And you can see it, or I can see it, coming off that positive terminal. That's oxygen. Negative terminal, terminal <laughs> is where the hydrogen comes off. And you can see it uh, bubbling off the plate assembly. Now this is touching. The only thing touching is the plates is the water. One uh, alternating plate, six of them. One's positive, one's negative, one's positive, one's negative, one's positive, one's negative. That's how that works. And you get the spacing right, then uh, you get hydroxy gas off of it. Now something I noticed, I'm getting a pretty good flow of gas here. I'm drawing 1.31 amperes. Uh, off of 24 volts is what I've got because I've got my two batteries 12 volt battery series together <clears throat> Now I noticed something if you can see the plates let me get back a little bit if I thump the water see how much more gas I get off and Plus the plates are sitting flat on the bottom of the cut off water jug that I've got uh, That's all I could find right now, but when I thump this you can see that I get more bubbles out of there. It is hydrogen or hydroxy gas. Uh, drawing up about 1.35. That seems uh, the more heat, the longer it runs, it tends to heat up a little bit, and that uh, amperage gets higher for some reason. When I started off earlier today with cold water, I was only drawing about 0.97 uh, amps which ain't nothing. This is a 17 uh, amp hour battery cell here, so I can run this 17 hours roughly without charging. And then I do have a solar uh, uh, collector here that I can charge batteries with. This is another project that I've got. I just finished it. You might want to see it. What it does is use these uh, solar collectors on the front to charge a set or a bank of batteries that are in the back of the unit or in the bottom of the unit. The small solar cells on top charge up the uh, one and a half volt batteries up on top recharge. These are lights. It'd be hard to see out here. 
that's a light. I guess you can see that. It looks pretty good in the dark. As a matter of fact, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of those on here. And uh, last night in the pitch black, I had them all on. It lit up the whole room, lit up the whole house. Uh, that's the output there. If I turn this on, I get power over here to my uh, TV radio. They're running off of this. Also, while I got the camera going, I'm charging my company cell phone off of the other. I forgot to mention that there's two complete systems here. There's some more lights. Uh, you can charge one and use one, uh, charge both of them at the same time, or use both of them at the same time. Uh, on this light, I get about 77 hours off of that light with absolutely no charge from the sun. There's the whole setup. I've got a, a uh, luggage rack thing on here, carrier to uh, carry it around with because it is so heavy because of the batteries. And we'll cut that back off. And I want to get back over to the uh, hydroxy gas project here. Now you can see it going to town now. And how do I know this is hydroxy gas? Because uh, as soon as I find my igniter, what did I do in my igniter? Here it is. Okay. We're going to light some of this stuff. You hear that? That was a good one. That's uh, hydroxy. It's highly explosive because it carries its own oxygen with it, not like acetylene or anything else. It's got its oxygen. It don't need to get oxygen, you know, like propane and uh, uh, acetylene and other things. So there's that. I'm kind of afraid to keep doing that. If I could get a big bubble. See all the bubbles come up? Watch this. Yeah, how's that? Okay, cool. Uh, back to the battery. We're still only drawing 1.35 amps right now. And we're going to play with this one more time. I'm going to thump this, get some bubbles. I need big bubbles. This real will run an engine, two-stroke engine, four-stroke engine. It will run. Uh, highly flammable. You can weld with it and do other things. One more close-up of the plates. You can see all the bubbles. I'm going to thump it. Let me see more bowls. Okay, one more time, just playing. I can smell that when it burns. It's, uh, it's a real sweet smell. Okay, I'm going to shut it off. This dropped down to uh, 1.34 amps right now, which ain't much. One more view of the hydroxy. I hope this turns out. It might be too dark. But anyway, that's the setup. Uh, two 12 volt batteries in series. Uh, six stainless steel plates I bought at Home Depot and drilled. Uh, you can still see the gas bubbling up off of it. Okay, end of uh, video.